Welcome to day three of our marathon. It's already day three and what we're doing today is we're doing our glutes and legs, so training our lower body. Hopefully we're going to have less planes than yesterday because it was quite loud and hopefully a different microphone is going to help us. So what we're using today is a ball. So any ball you can find in your house and if you don't have a ball just grab a pillow which is a bit on a harder side and you also need the exercise mat but if you don't have one then you can use a towel or a blanket anything you can find in your house side so, as always make sure that you are warmed up have your water ready and we're starting in 15. the first exercise is going to be a lunge to kick back Stand nice and tall, back is straight, abs are braced. And step back, large step back. Go into a lunge, come up, tense the standing leg to a kick back. And again, step back, try to keep your shin off the front leg vertical throughout the whole exercise. And again, go down and kick. If your balance is an issue, then you can hold on to your wall or a chair for support. Make sure that you do not rush. Kick up under control. Tense your muscles and bring that leg up. And keep going. And again. Make sure that the front leg, toes and knee are looking straight ahead. Well done doing guess what the same thing on the other side get ready roll your shoulders back and down straight back abs are braced and let's go large step back shin is vertical kick up when you're bringing that leg up try not to swing it but tense your muscles control it and by tensing and engaging your muscles you bring in that leg up and squeezing your glute as hard as you can and another one breathing as the key so as always exhale when it is the hardest and keep going Try to reach with the back leg knee all the way to the floor. Next exercise is going to be a squat to a knee up. Once again, get your back straight, open up your chest, roll your shoulders back and down, your feet at about shoulder width. And then go into squat, come up, bring one knee up. Go into squat, the other knee up. And again, squat go as low as you can if you are only a beginner and you can't squat all the way down do a half squat you will progress with every single rep and another one up and go low make sure that your knees and toes are going the same direction well done Keep going. Almost. And the next exercise is a curtsy three pulse. We stand on one side only. Shift your weight on the front leg. Then bring the other leg behind and slightly to the side. Go down into a curtsy and do three pulses. One, two, and three. Come up. And again, one, two, and three. The shin off the front standing leg. Try to keep it as vertical as you can. Two, and three. Come up. And again, one, two, and three. Come up. If it really burns your leg and you cannot do three pulses, do two pulses. If you cannot do two pulses, do one pulse and then come to standing. Only have three seconds left. And again. Well done. Have a sip of water. Make 
make sure that you're having small sips during the workout and then drink plenty once you're done and now the other leg one two and three come up and again sit back feel the stretch on the side of your leg and your glute sit back and then pulse two and three and stand up and again one two and three well done that burns that is amazing this is what we need no equipment no repeats either every single exercise is a different exercise to keep our motivation up and to add a variety well done amazing now we're moving on to the floor make sure that your hands are shoulder width apart your wrists are underneath your shoulders your knee is underneath your hip straighten one leg and draw a circle and then to the other side and again bring your foot onto the floor if it is too easy keep it elevated all the time and do circles in the air and do not lower your leg but if it gets too hard bring it onto the floor try not to lean to the side keep your body steady and parallel to the ground keep squeezing your glutes well done keep going amazing and now the other side reposition yourself again if needed wrists under your shoulders knee underneath your hip straighten the other leg and draw that circle well done keep going once again if you need place that foot onto the ground if you can stay elevated do so and do not rush always try to keep your muscles under tension for longer keep going oh that burned and now we're going to heel squat to low squat stay on your knees and your knees about hip width apart go down under control sit all the way onto your heels come up and squeeze your glutes at the same time from here go into squat position and then straight away go back down and again sit back onto your heels come up squeeze your glutes try alternating your feet so if you stood up from your right initially then do the next rep from your left squeeze form at its best and only then the speed increases we don't want fast fast paced exercises with bad form now the next one Whew, go onto your side what we do here we keep our elbow underneath our shoulder and we bring in the top leg in front of us touching the floor with that knee and then doing a side raise and again to the front touch the floor with your knee and to the side try not to lean to the front or to the back keep yourself steady sideways laying down and keep going control it all the way up as well as on the way down I hope you can hear the birds and not just the sounds which come from my neighbors but birds are amazing well done and now we're doing the same thing on the other side once again 
elbows underneath your shoulder. I keep reminding you about the form because it is crucial to keep it right for the better results and for injury prevention. Tap the floor with your knee and then up. And again, knee, sideways. Knee, sideways. Keep going. Feel that burn on the side of the leg. Well done. We only have 15 seconds left. Not rushing. Slow paced, correct form, proper muscle engagement. And now we're going to need our ball. Go back on the floor, feet at about hip width, bring that ball in between your knees. And now come up, squeeze that ball and relax. Squeeze and relax. And again, squeeze and relax. If it's too hard, squeeze, go into the floor, have a second of rest, come up and again squeeze and relax. Sun is shining straight into my eyes. I cannot even open my eyes. So I'm gonna have to keep them closed. My glutes are on fire and I hope yours are as well. Keep squeezing. High bridge. Amazing. Now you can lose the ball. Bring your feet next to each other. Tilt your pelvic floor, place it in the correct position. And now, come up, bring your knees away from each other. Lower yourself down and keep that pelvic floor tilted. And again, lower down, come up, bring your knees away. And another. Keep it under control. Every single rep. Give it your best. Lower yourself down and up. We made it. And the next exercise is going to be belly scissors. Go onto your belly. Bring your bent arms in front of you. And elevate both feet and bring them apart from each other, close to each other, lower down. And again, elevate to the sides and back to the middle. If you can stay in elevated position throughout the whole exercise, do so. And just bring them to the sides, middle, sides, middle, and keep tensing your glutes. If you get tired, middle and bring your feet onto the ground. You don't need to bring your legs too high, just a fraction, elevate them, bring them into the air and work. Next one, kick up, stay in the same position, one leg is straight, bend the other leg and point to the ceiling with your heel. We're doing three pulses, one, two, three, back onto the floor. And again, one, two, three, back to the floor. Keep engaging that glute. One, two, three. When doing this exercise, make sure that you keep your hips on the ground. The leg which is straight is staying glued to the floor and not moving up. Three, back to the ground. And again, one, two, three, and to the ground. Two, three, and to the ground. Oh, I'm so happy that there is a wind. Because 
and so hot. Oh, catch your breath. And we're doing the very last exercise. So it's the same one on the opposite side. Bend the other leg. Get ready. Point your heel to the ceiling. And let's go. One, two, three. And lower it down. And again. One more. Keep squeezing the glute. Well done. Lower it down under control. And again. Amazing. Another one. One more. Oh, guys. Slowly come up. Never rush. We don't want to feel dizzy. That was how we did three. So tomorrow is day four and we're doing our upper body to balance it out with today's workout. So now, enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure that you're cooling down. Make sure that you're stretching properly to help yourself with recovery. And I will see you tomorrow. And don't forget, love yourself and love your life. And I love you all. And so happy that we made it with our day three. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Love you.